<laughs> All right, sorry guys. I'm so sorry. You too. Wow, I can believe it. Uh, anyway, it's okay. Oh my goodness. She's not sure if we're dancing or talking. Honey, look what it looks like. What? Okay, so we're going to start from the beginning, Emily. Ah. Oh! We got something to know. <laughs> All right, sorry guys. I'm so sorry. You too. Wow. Oops. Ooh. Now we got some. Okay. <laughs> So let's take it from the top. <laughs> Let us know if there's any other issues. Hey Emily, thank you for thank letting you us know. Uh, I completely forget to connect the uh, the mic for YouTube. <laughs> so now you have a mic. YouTube was in the dark. Yeah. They wanted to go work up again. But then TikTok and Facebook, it's not a problem, it was just... Uh... We were dancing and talking. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're gonna do this again, so that way you can do it again, and now you know what to do. We don't mind to do it again, all right?
tic tac is first you lucky we did this twice for you <laughs> <laughs> sorry for you too uh, i forgot to put plug the mic uh, right now are you guys probably know this if you've seen this before but you are new uh we pretty much we stream live on three different platforms we have live tic tac we have facebook live and we have youtube live all right so uh so I'm Jackie Solano again. This is and Waldo Waldo. Solano. We're owners of Salsa Knox Dance Company in Knoxville, Tennessee. And, and these body drills, like we said before, are really going to help you as far as your salsa and understanding your body. Um, Waldo's going to say everything I'm saying in Spanish here in a minute. So it's, it's going to be a bilingual class. But basically, essentially, we want to show you the difference between uh, dancers that use a lot of body isolation and dancers that don't, you will see a difference like this. For example, with my ladies, you might see all focus on the steps, right? They're doing the steps, but that looks a whole lot more different than this. Right? When you see all the things working together. Uh, for guys here in a second, Waldo's going to explain um, the difference and why it's so important that we spend 15 minutes at the beginning of every class, 10 to 15 minutes, doing some of these isolations. Waldo? Now, uh, before we go to the Spanish people, you have to understand this, right? Uh, a lot of times, if you go online or you go to see shows, uh, professional dancers, you will see in particular the best ones in the world. It has something particular about the way they dance. Right? He courses the experience, the move with the dog. But one of the signatures that every single professional dance they are in the tap is body movement. Right? That's what separates the people that are in the tap for the rest of us. Right? So that's why this sometimes the warm up can be the more important piece in a dance lesson. Right? So I would suggest to try to take to dance to the next level. It's not by adding thousands of turns, not by adding thousands of combinations. Body movement is the key, right? So what we did, we did a warm up. But if you do that, you're gonna start having control of your own body. That's what professional dancers does, right? They have control of your own body, so they can move different in different speed, different uh, part of the body as they do in the steps. It that make a big difference, right? So you wanna look different, you wanna take your dance to the next level. Body movement is the key, right? One of the things we travel the United States uh, teaching and performing, one of the things that we see even in our own town is that people do not move this. All this doesn't move at all. It's all hands or feet. Right? What, sometimes when they are by themselves, they do a little bit of, of body movement, but as soon as they grab the hands of the partner, boom, it's going away. It, all they do is use steps and turns. Right? But I guarantee you want to have fun dancing, Body moving is the key, right? I know it's not easy, right? But okay, so key. let's show the difference in what Waldo was saying, and then we'll need to do a Spanish translation. All right, so when we get together with our partner, we're doing our steps, we're right. learning, I and mean, this could be intermediate or advanced. Yeah, we're doing a bunch of turning, turning, lots of turning, 50 million turning, ba 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 ba. I'm doing all this turning. Uh, oh, yes, I nailed it. But here's the problem with that, is that when somebody, like an audience is watching you, or you in your mind, you think you're immediate advanced, really the key to pushing you to making you look like the dancer that you always have dreamt to be is not the steps. It is the movement. So again, it will look different. So when we add a little bit of body movement. Now, don't get confused, okay? all right? Body movement is not this. It's not the arms racing around. No. It's twist of Here. the core. Here. In combination with the shoulders right. and the way you step. Right? Which moves the hands, which moves the arms. Yeah. Yes. So all you do is Comes from the make shoulder. reach, you move it, but my shoulders and my body movement do not stop just because I connect them with my partner. Right? You can still move everything. So shake it. You do everything. Everything right? you want to do. So whatever you already know how to do or even you just starting, that's what's going to make different yeah. for the rest. Because the majority do not do this, right. all right? And just by doing that, you're going to be in the top 20% of people in the world that actually is the small amount of people that actually do body movement when they dance, right? right? So you want to be in the top, do body movement. Body movement. Super simple. And you see, the exercise is not, not complicated. You just have to do it often, Yeah. All right? So that little body, you're going to have control of your body, all right? In the beginning, you're going to have to overthink a little bit how to move it. 
but as it gets often uh, you try it, then it's not gonna go well, right? And then you're just gonna be able to focus on the move and mm -hmm. move the whole thing, right? Uh, para los chicos que hablan español, uh, mi nombre es Waldo. Ella so, es mi esposa. Mi nombre es Jacqueline. Uh, uh, so, somos uh, dueños de una, uh, una escuela de baile aquí en los Estados Unidos. Uh, vivimos en el este de los Estados Unidos y agradecemos a las tres plataformas que nos siguen. Bueno, son más, pero por ahora <coughs> son las únicas que tenemos en vivo. Ahorita tenemos TikTok en vivo, tenemos Facebook en vivo y tenemos YouTube en vivo. So, prácticamente lo que hacemos es de cuando cerramos las puertas de nuestra escuela por lo de coronavirus, ¿verdad? lo que hicimos, eh, pusimos toda nuestra compañía en línea. So, si quieren aprender salsa, bachata, merengue, cumbia, cha cha cha, mambo, y, y, y planeamos agregar todavía más, ¿verdad? tenemos eh, eh, un grupo que es gratis de Facebook, eh, siempre lo pongo en TikTok en el perfil hay un link, en Facebook mi perfil hay un link, o en YouTube hay un link, so, lo que hacemos ahí tenemos organizados por niveles y por estilos, ¿verdad? todo lo que enseñamos, so, si quieren aprender es completamente gratis, ¿por qué? porque hay dos cosas que nos gusta hacer más y es bailar y enseñar, so, no tenemos problemas de ahorita que hay muchos problemas por lo del coronavirus, o hay mucha gente en su casa que no tiene nada que hacer o no sabe o están aburridos o quieren algo nuevo que hacer, algo muy importante especialmente para la salud es hacer ejercicio ¿verdad? y lo mejor de esto que es divertido. ¿verdad? Además, este, muchos de ustedes probablemente ya saben bailar, de esta manera pueden aprender nuevos trucos, nuevos pasos, ¿verdad? un poquito nuevo para agregarlo a lo que ya todos saben y mejorar su estilo de baile. So, uh, para aparte también, ejercicio es la meta, es, la, es el secreto para combatir cosas como el virus que ahorita estamos sufriendo. ¿verdad? Si hacen ejercicio constantemente y bailar es divertido, no tienen que ir al gimnasio y levantar pesas, estar aburrido. Hay una manera más sencilla de ejercitarse y mantener su sistema inmunológico alto y es bailando. So, pero hay mucha gente que todavía baila, quieren perfeccionarse, te tenemos, te les tenemos aquí todo un programa. Próximamente vamos a, a, estamos ahorita trabajando duro para crear un nuevo programa para todo el mundo. Prácticamente desde que cerramos nuestra compañía, eh, no estoy seguro si es, ya tenemos un mes o dos meses en cuarentena, eh, pero desde el primer día que cerramos, mi esposa y yo nos, nos eh, inscribimos a un, a, a un entrenamiento intensivo para instructores e, y ahorita estamos aprendiendo por los, eh, los mejores instructores del mundo, como Karen y Ricardo, no sé si ustedes lo conocen, son nueve veces campeones del mundo, estuvieron en la televisión en competencias eh, y han ganado la mayoría de... Uh, de los reconocimientos my boy, sorry my dog too right. so, uh, sorry so, ahorita estamos siendo entrenados no solo por ellos sino por muchos instructores right. so, lo que vamos a hacer es ofrecer clases de todo tipo right. de los más populares en el mundo como uh, tizomba, eh, salsa cubana guaracha, rumba ok, never mind right. so guys Gracias por estar aquí. Voy a cortarlo porque este chamaco quiere atención. Chamaco. Eh, bye bye. So, a camera. You're already on camera with your boobie. Bye bye. Right. Bueno chicos, si no tienen una pregunta, otra una pregunta, este, me voy porque este chamaco está sin ropa. Vaya, vaya. Come on. One, two, three. Salsa. Alright guys. Thanks for watching us. Gracias por mirarnos. Nos vemos la próxima. See you next time. Bye. Oh, uh, todos los hacemos live uh, dos veces por día. Uh, so hacemos siempre a la una de la tarde, uh, pero cada día es nivel diferente. So, por ejemplo, hoy es para gente que nunca ha bailado antes, por eso empezamos con, con el cuerpo, cómo moverlo. Para que ustedes puedan aprender a moverse y a soltarse. Eh, mañana enseñamos combinaciones. Enseñamos vueltas. Eh, es, es salsa, digamos, nivel número uno. 